Greetings, warrior. You have been summoned to perform a series of tests to prove your character ring's capabilities and worthiness. You will be subjected to the most horrible, unspeakable evils which have siphoned the lives of countless animators. Enter the portal to your left. Your destiny awaits. Approach the portal and enter. Step into the portal. Why are you just standing there? Has this ever happened to you? You want to make your character move, but moving them is such a hassle that people either avoid doing it or they settle for not so great looking motions plastered onto an otherwise decent looking render. People can try to make motions ahead of time to avoid having to do work that they've already done, but then they have to worry about figuring out how to do something like turn the character without foot slipping, or if it's a different character, then there's hand adjustments involved that just leeches away time otherwise spent doing something productive. This is the reason why I developed the relative motion loading workflow for Lightwave. The big idea is to create motions that propel the character in any direction from their current position correctly and accurately regardless of the character's current orientation, proportions, etc. And this opens the door to a new degree of freedom for all Lightwave animators. In addition, I have also developed a one-click workflow for adapting characters to motion capture, which can be combined with relative motion loading so that it can be easily blended in with other relative motions and hand keying to allow for an extremely rapid and versatile animation workflow. All this and so much more is covered in the now complete comprehensive guide to IK Booster. Visit liberty3d.com and put your animation workflow on turbo today.